Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Katya. For those of you who do, welcome back. So for today's video, it's been a little while since I did a get ready with me or even my everyday makeup routine. So I thought I would do that for you since it's been a while. I think it was done the last time I did it. I think it was last year. I have changed a lot of my makeup products and I wanted to give you a little update on that. I also got a few pieces from Salty Crush. So I included a try on haul. So let's jump right into this video. Enjoy. So first things first, I just washed my face, I put all my beauty creams, let me know if you guys want to maybe see a sort of beauty routine with my face creams and what I do and my facial massages and all of that, that'll be for another video. But today I am going to the thrift store, I have a few errands to run, and yeah, that's pretty much my day today, nothing special. So first things first, I washed my face, I put all of my beauty serums and my beauty creams. Um, now I'm just going to take my hair out of my face, so I'm going to put my little headband on like this, just get everything out. So headband is on, hair is out of my face, that's what we want. Fresh face, clean face. So first things first, I'm going to get my Laneige lip balm sort of treatment. I usually put that before I put my makeup on, just sort of leave it on until it's time for the lipstick part. So I put a little, a little bit here to hydrate my lips so when it's time to put the lipstick it doesn't look all cracky and all that fun stuff okay so first things first i go with my iconic the underglow serum this is my holy grail i love this i love the lightweight it makes your skin feel silky so that's what my first step is so i'm gonna go ahead and put my skin glow i even sort of bring it down <laughs> my neck i know it's crazy but you want the whole face to feel silky baby, like a baby's butt, right? Like silky smooth. So I pretty much put it everywhere and it just kind of gives a little bit of a glow and it feels almost, I don't know, like a satiny feel to it. And it smells, it reminds me of the smell of when I was a kid, there was this perfume. I'm not sure what it was called, like baby ball or baby bell. I don't know, it has this like baby powder smell to it, which I don't hate. Normally I would be like, oof, it's a little strong, but it's just, I don't know, it's a subtle and I, I love it. It brings me back to my childhood, don't ask. So then what I do is I go with my little Tatcha powder here and I take my beauty blender and I dab it a little bit all over. I know most people would put this after their foundation, but I think you've seen from my last video that I love to put just a little coating underneath my foundation so it makes the foundation flawless. So I go ahead and dab a little bit here and where you're the most oily so to me obviously it's my t-zone i have a combination skin so it's a mix between oily and dry but i normally do that and put it where my skin is the most oily and i feel like the foundation can slide off a little bit and it just keeps everything intact in place where it's supposed to be and not moving around as much that's what i've noticed also i find it makes the pores less visible I don't know if it's just a me thing, but to me, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing less pores and less swishing around the foundation on your face. You can use a brush, any kind of brush, but I love to put it in with my beauty blender. That's how I do it. So once that's done, I'm then going to go in with my foundation. So right now for my foundations, I am loving, you guys already know, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I love my Hourglass Ambient Foundation. It is my holy grail. It is such a good foundation. I know it's a little bit more on the pricier side, but for me, I think when I find the right foundation, it's so worth it. You can buy a whole bunch of different foundations at the drugstore, but I love Sephora. The reason why is, first of all, you can try it on. If you don't like it, you can bring it back. That's the great thing about Sephora. When you're buying at the drugstore, you are pretty much stuck with it. So before you know it, you are spending, if you don't get the right color, it just doesn't suit your skin type, you're ending up spending quite a bit of money. So for me, Sephora is the place to go. That's where I go. That's my thing. I have tried so many different foundations from drugstores to Sephora to every different types. And right now I'm loving these two. So the Hourglass Ambient and the House Labs from Lady Gaga. I love to mix my foundations. I mix this one and then I put a couple of drops in this one. This one is a little bit of a darker shade just so it's the perfect 
color for my skin. And then what I love to do is I take my iconic glow serum and I put a couple of drops in there to make it a little bit more translucent. It gives like a sort of medium coverage, if you will, and it gives also a more flawless look to your foundation. So what I'm going to do is I normally take about, I don't know, one and a half of my hourglass. Then I put a tiny little bit of the House of Labs and then I... Put, I would say maybe three drops of the glow serum and then I mix it together and then it creates this shade which is perfect for me <laughs> so I take my beauty blender I dab take off the excess and I start that oh gosh I <laughs> got some on my nose and then I just start dabbing away all over my face pretty much except for underneath the eyes. I don't go underneath the eyes because I put my concealer underneath the eyes. I don't want it to be cakey. It starts going in the lines. When I start bringing up my foundation underneath, it's no good. It looks like a big hot mess. So we want to avoid the under eyes. Everywhere else except under eyes. I'm going to be heading out to the thrift store. I am looking for some stuff to put in Koakaya in the home decor section. And so yeah, I have a couple of errands to run also. That is pretty much my day. I'm going to come back, do some emails, hang out with the hub a little bit, and that is pretty much going to be my day. It's going to be a whole day for me. Oh no, and I have a few orders to put out. So that's another thing I got to get cracking on that. Your makeup routine changes a little bit from the winter time and the summer time. So right now we're we're in the summertime. So what I was doing in the winter time is not working for the summertime. I also put less oils and serums underneath my foundation for my creams. I'm going more in the water-based creams right now and I feel it helps to keep my foundation all day long versus in the winter time my skin is so dry that i put on oils and serums to really hydrate everything but in the summertime i cannot do that i will be melting like literally melting my whole face will melt off and we don't want that <laughs> oh and yeah you want to make sure you put it all the way down we don't want that we don't want the whole mask look you want to bring everything down so that's really important You also want to get those ears. I've seen people and I've done it also in the past. So you want to get on those ears too, just so that it blends with everything and you don't have lines everywhere. So pretty much even a little bit in the hairline to make sure it's well blended. You know, you don't want to look like you're wearing a mask. You want to still look natural and, and beautiful, right? As much as you want to cover those imperfections, you don't want to look like you're wearing a mask. The whole point is to look as natural as possible. So yeah, you know, we're humans. We have imperfections. We have our pimples. We have our, you know, the rosacea. We have all kinds of things. But if we can make it look as natural as possible, that's the goal. So moving on to my next step, I spoke about this product on my Insta stories. And I think I also spoke about it on YouTube. I had spoken to you about my Merit Stick Foundation. And I love this little guy. I've been wearing it pretty much underneath my eyes. It doesn't go in the creases as much. A lightweight foundation for me. I mean, it's buildable, but if you don't want to have that heavy under the eye, you just put a little bit underneath. I usually put two coats to really camouflage my dark circles. We want to get rid of those. But what I love about this is that I feel as though it just doesn't go in the folds as much. I was using my Too Faced concealer. I love that one as well. I find it's more of a heavier. So for my everyday, I love the Merit. Let's go ahead. I normally put it right in the corner right here. If you guys are seeing. And then I put a little bit right there. So there and there. So now this is going to be a little bit of a longer video. But normally it might take me maybe 15 to 20 minutes if I speed it all up. Um, now that I'm talking, it's going to be a bit longer. Um, so yeah, normally it's about a maybe a 20-minute makeup routine. I don't like to use my beauty blender when it comes to underneath the eyes. I like to use my fingers. I feel it melts more into the skin. So I dab away underneath the eyes. That's why I'm not wearing my rings right now. I feel completely naked without my rings. Not my comfort zone. I just love my rings. They're a part of me. All my jewelry is a part of me. But when I'm doing my makeup or I'm doing certain DIYs, I, I will take out my rings because there's things that get stuck into it. I don't want to ruin my rings. So once that's all melted in, 
I then go again with a second coat. I do the same thing. I go right here, right there. And then I sort of take the excess. Once I'm dabbing, I pass it over on the top of the lid so that it camouflages a little bit of the redness on the top as well. I'll go back with my beauty blender and dab a little bit to say. So next I'm going with my Mario, the contouring stick. I looked everywhere for this little guy. I was going all the time to Sephora and they were always sold out. So I went recently and I am so excited that they finally had this. I was like, they had two left and it was meant to be. So I am so happy. It's this color. I got the light medium, super beautiful. And I pretty much just put it, I put it underneath here right here i go also on my nose right here then i pretty much go like around the top of the forehead and then the temple and then i also go along the jawline to give that more you want a whole chiseled jaw that's the goal and then I am taking my Sephora brush and it's in the number 64 and I blend it but going in upwards motions. I don't know if you guys are seeing this. Look how beautiful it melts into the skin with the foundation. It's such a beautiful color. So I am loving this right now. You want to make sure it is going in that hairline because we do not want face mask going on and yeah we're making the whole nose a little bit more snatched that's what we're going for <laughs> and then here when it comes to the jawline i'm sweeping it and then bringing it down it just gives a more chiseled look it's a whole contouring effect i'm not sure there's a huge difference but to me i feel that it does make a difference when it comes to my makeup routine so you can either do it on top of also when you're finished at the end you put it and use it as a little bit of a bronzer but i'm using it more as a contour so once that is done then i'm going to go in with my tatcha the powder i'm going to take my little brush and take a little dab i want to go back in and make sure that my foundation is not starting to crack and go in those lovely fine lines that we all love so much and then i'm going to pass it sweep it underneath to set it in place and then on the top as well then i am taking it's my huda beauty press powder i love this um what color is it it is in pound cake color it's my favorite i've been using it for years so I just take my beauty blender and then I dabble it on my beauty blender and go and put it all over my face. Like some people love to put their translucent powder or their finishing powder with a brush. I love pressing everything in. I feel it gives more of a flawless finish to my foundation. But that's just a personal taste. I think either or is beautiful, but I feel this works better. Okay we are done we are done with the powder so now we're gonna go in with my charlotte tilbury we are gonna go in with the bronzing cream <laughs> like the bronzing cream the bronzing uh blush i think this is an elf brush it's not even written so i wouldn't even know what it is it's my sort of blush brush i go back in on my cheeks and give me my little glow that i need i need to have some a little bit of sun i need a little vitamin d here to I'm Ukrainian, so to me, the whole Russian side of me, I am literally transparent. You can see my blue veins popping through, so any glow that I can add on and get, I need it. <laughs> okay, once that is done, I'm going to go in with this blush. I don't have my glasses, so I cannot see. I think it's called Beauty Blender. Yeah, Beauty Blender Blush. I got it in this beautiful rosy color. I then take again my Sephora 64 brush and I dab it in there and then go on the higher parts of my cheekbones. And Lord knows I got some cheekbones. And then I go a little bit on the top of the nose. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but I just think it's so beautiful and it's like a nice 
pinkish color i don't know if it's picking up i also bring it up on a little bit of the side of my temples to blend it in okay so once the whole i guess the face if you will is done what i'm well it's not completely done but what i go into next is my brows we want to fill in those brows i already have big huge brows but there are little places that i feel need a little filling so i go in with my sephora eyebrow pencil and i believe it's in the color taupe then i use the brush to clean off any of the foundation or the the uh, powder that i just used so we just clean them up so i'm just going to go ahead and do my brows So once that is pretty much done, I brush it a little bit so that it doesn't look like I have huge harsh lines in my brows and I mix it in. So I don't know if you are seeing a little bit of the difference. It's a little bit more filled in, creating more of a shape than this side here. They're looking a little sprouse and there's like missing gaps here. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eyebrow. I always feel I have one eyebrow that's worse than the other and usually it's my left eyebrow. I'm always missing more eyebrow hairs in there or there's like little white hairs that grow. So I don't know, this eyebrow is just not happening. Okay, so once the eyebrows are filled in, I go in with my Kosas. I, I can never say that. I'm probably butchering the name, but it's this little guy and it is my brow gel and I feel that it brings my eyebrows back to life. It fills them up. It's great. I go in the opposite direction. So I go this side. I let it sit there, then do the other side while I'm waiting for it to harden a little bit. Now I'm going to go back in and brush them out in the proper direction. Comb them out. And I love when my eyebrows right at the end here lift up. So the rest is a little bit smoother, but then the inners here i love it when they're upwards here like this so yeah that's it i'm gonna do the other side too i used to pluck my eyebrows till like they were super super thin and i love more than natural i barely pluck my eyebrows i might take out a couple of hairs underneath and maybe one or two in the middle but or else i'd let my eyebrows do whatever they want to do that's the look that i love right now who says that i might not pluck over pluck them later on but as of right now i'm loving the whole bushy natural eyebrow so voila so now i like to go in with my eyeliner i have gotten the sephora i tried so many different eyeliners and they were either all too liquidy they were starting to crumble a little bit underneath my eyes they were cracking i mean i've tried from liquid eyeliner to you know even the what, which one was this one this one was the makeup forever um, supposedly it was like waterproof i have tried it all girls so when i tell you that this one right now is my favorite it is the sephora liquid eyeliner and it is in color black and right now i'm loving it i love how it applies it's one of the best ones that i've tried so far i've also loved the I think it was the benefit one i'm not sure but anyway this one is the one i'm loving right now it lasts all day it doesn't create the little flakes underneath the eye and it goes on like really nice and i hate it when you put an eyeliner and then you're going on and putting a second layer and then it starts to take the other layer underneath out so oh, i've had so much trouble with that so anyway this is such a good eyeliner so yeah i'm gonna go do my eyes i cannot talk while i'm doing this it is impossible so i'm going to go ahead and i will be right back okay now one eye down the hard part is doing it on the other eye so let's go ahead and try to get as close as possible to the other eye it's not happening <laughs> you know there's those days where it just works out and you get it like the first try today's not that day obviously i think this is as good as it's gonna get i take my beauty blender and then i go underneath it with the excess foundation that's still on there and i clean it up a little bit done and done finally okay so now what i like to do 
is I go in with my highlighter. I keep this at the end because I, I used to do it at the beginning, but when I started doing the whole eyeliner and I fuck it up a couple times, I need to fix it. And by the time I'm done with my eyeliner, the highlighter is completely a hot mess. So I always keep the highlighter for the very end. I go a little bit with my finger. I dab the tip of my nose, like right here. And then I also put a little bit right at the bridge of the nose like this to create a little a little button nose. And then I'm going to go in with my the little brush that it comes with. Look how beautiful. I have tried many highlighting powders and to me this is so pigmented and I love that. I love a whole shine. I would like to feel like a little fairy. It's from Benefit. It's such a beautiful color first of all. It has this champagne color which I think is gorgeous. And the pigment, let me show you guys. Look how beautiful. But it's so pigmented. Look at this. So beautiful. If I could, I would put it all over my face. I go underneath also where the line of the eyeliner is, and then I bring it up onto the temples. I also put it right where the point of my eyebrow is. I brush it a little bit there to create a little highlight there. Okay, so once that's done, I go in again with my brush to make sure that everything is blended in properly so I don't look crazy. Then I'm going in with my eyelash curler and what I do is, I saw this recently, I think it was on Instagram, I saw a girl doing this. So she starts off, normally you go in an upwards motion like this, but she was doing it down first and then up. And I loved her results. So I'm like, let me try it, see if it actually works. And I love it and have been using that method ever since. I told my mom about this and my mom has shorter lashes. I have really long lashes. So if you're someone that has really short lashes, I don't know if that works or maybe my mom just didn't know exactly how to do it, but it didn't work for her. But for me, it works. So I pretty much go downwards, which is the most awkward thing. So you're going downwards like this. Your eyelashes are pretty much going downwards right now. And then I do the opposite and then do this. And they look so pretty. I'm gonna put the Ilia mascara. I love this mascara. I'll show you the difference between it just totally lifts it up. I think mascara is just as important as your eyebrows. So to me, this mascara is great. It doesn't crumble underneath the eyes. It gives a lot of volume and thickness to my eyelashes. And I love that whole technique there with the up, like going down and then up. Okay, so there you have it guys. My eyelashes are done. Now we're going to move on to the lips and now that they're pre-hydrated, I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury. I think it's the color Pillow Talk. I'm not too sure, but I'll put that down on the screen. What I like to do and how I do my lips is I go underneath here, draw a line here, connect it, and then I go a tiny little bit over my lip just a tiny bit in the middle and then i follow the rest of my lip that's what i feel works best for me and gives me the best results so anyway we're going to go ahead and do that and then i bring in the pencil on the inside of the corners like right here then i'm going to go in with my mac I cannot see because like I said, I don't have my glasses, but it's this beautiful nude color. I've reused this and reused this. It's a perfect nude lipstick and it pairs with everything. I love this lipstick. Now what I like to do, I like to take a lip brush and blend everything in properly. I used to not blend it and I see such a huge difference when I blend it. It looks like a more natural lip. Like right now it's looking like lip liner and then you put a really light lipstick inside and I don't like that. So I just want to blend it all. So I usually use a lip brush and I blend it all together. So 
I soften the lines too around my mouth. You don't want to look like we have harsh lines. I used to do that in the, I think it was the 80s. I used to wear my lipstick really dark. I think it was called Spice. And then I would put some foundation in the middle and I thought I was looking good, you know? <laughs> but that's not what we want. We're going for a more natural approach. Yeah. Looking good, looking good. Then I go in again with another, I'm not sure from what company is this. This is from Winkly Lux, if I'm saying that properly. But anyway, everything will be written down. It has a coconut smell. It has a little sheen to it. So I put it over again, the other lip color. It feels, it feels softer. You can go ahead and wear a lip gloss, but I'm not a big lip gloss fan. My hair gets stuck in it. I feel it starts creating that line in the middle there, which I freaking hate. Um, so I don't love lip gloss. I mean, I've bought lip glosses. I love them, but they don't last for me all day. I feel like I'm constantly retouching my lips. So this way, it lasts the longest. So that is pretty much it. I know I used to put a little bit of a finishing spray, but I don't even need that. I feel that because of the powder I put underneath, it works. So now what I'm going to do is probably go ahead and curl a little bit of the front of my bangs here because I need a little bit of a little bit of some movement in the front. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I usually do that with my flat iron and then we're going to decide what I'm going to wear. So I'm going to go do my hair, come back, and then we're going to go through some options. So let's do this. Hair is done. I know it's not the hugest difference, but I love to have a whole beachy look to my hair. So I usually use my flat iron and go in the front pieces and a couple of pieces on the side to create this. And then I Pretty much brush it out let me know if you guys want to see maybe a video of me doing my hair um and yeah and then i curl the bottom here i love the whole messy beachy look so that's what we're going for it's pretty much my everyday hairstyle okay so now what to wear i have two options i recently got some pieces from salty crush i think i'm gonna do a little haul for you and show you some of the pieces that i got because i know some of you love to see my fashion side so i thought i would put it in here since we're you know doing it get ready with me uh why not show you some of my pieces that i recently got i'm debating between two dresses that i'm gonna wear so anyway let's jump right into uh the haul so let's start off with my first dress it's between these two dresses okay so there's this beautiful, look at the print. It has like a tribal print to it and it has the balloon sleeves. Let me put this one down. So it has the balloon sleeves. You guys know I love my balloon sleeves. It cinches in at the waist. So it has a little under bust. It goes down in a little triangle here, which I love so much. And it is meaty length. It has this cute little sexy slit right there. So just to add a little bit of drama on the leg with the little slit. So I have this as an option. Then I have this cute little floral dress. Look how pretty with the little floral and then the sleeves that sort of flare out. Does the same thing at the waist, which I love. It creates a hourglass shape. It really does cinch in at the waist. And it's also a midi length dress. The cool part is, is that it has buttons all the way down here. So you can either wear it as a dress or wear it as maybe a duster. It's like a two-in-one, right? So anyway, I'm debating between those two dresses. But while I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to wear this one or the other one, I'm going to show you some of my other pieces that I got also from Salty Crush. Okay, so I love these. I cannot wait to wear them. I have a few events that I'm going to, and I thought that these were the perfect comfortable lightweight summer dresses and they have just a beautiful look i got them in both colors i got it in like an ivory like a cream color and i also have it in black so it is this beautiful linen dress it's obviously meaty length and it ties at the waist here and it has a little cut out here and look how beautiful the sleeves are and then it has a collar i think that this is the perfect comfortable flowy dress it's lightweight since you know we are in the summertime but i am not much of a person who likes to show her arms this is the perfect little dress i love it i have it in black as well so it comes in black like this and in ivory so i mean if i want an ivory monochromatic look maybe paired with some cowboy boots and then my ivory hat and then this one with an all black look giving it a more gothic vibe so soft gothic-y 
it's two of the same dresses but that can give completely two different styles and looks so i'm showing them to you now but i'm gonna try them on and show you how they look on as well i'm saving these for an event but you can totally wear these every day paired with some flat sandals or even a sneaker or even a boot to keep it more casual but for me i'm probably going to be wearing them well maybe one of them for an event and then there's my sister's birthday so we'll see which one i end up wearing i wanted to make sure i had dresses i had options and i'm going to show you another beautiful dress this is another gorgeous dress that i got it is so beautiful i had to have it it's like this chocolate brown and it's also a linen and it has these cutouts here and it goes all the way to the floor so it's like a maxi dress but i fell in love with the color i cannot wait to wear it i don't know where i'm wearing it but i will find i will find some place to wear it i'm not sure i can wear it till a birthday but i'll find an event i have different events to go to anyway so I'll probably maybe wear it for one of those events. I love that whole chocolate brown. It's not so common to have a chocolate brown linen. It's sexy, it's elegant, and I cannot wait to wear it. Love this one. For my final pieces, I end up getting this two-piece set. It comes with this blouse like this, and it has a couple of sleeves, and then it comes with these super cute trousers. What am I doing? Okay, yeah, so it comes with these really super cute trousers i love the whole triangle at the front of it they are flare so you look like you're wearing a midi skirt but you're not this set is the perfect set to go for a picnic i can sit in my little indian positions and they are just so comfy i've already worn these the first day that i got it i wore this set i love my matchy set because it makes things a little bit easier you don't have to worry about what top goes with what top you put these two together and you are obviously adding some jewelry and hats accessories and you're good to go so that's what i love about these sets they have so many different sets too the color was different it has this sort of soft like a lime green like a neon green not so in your face neon green paired with a brown and i love the print the color combo it's not something that i normally would be drawn to i love the whole tribal look that's pretty much it when it comes to salty crush haul if you guys are interested i'll leave all the information down below of all the different links to the different dresses so what i'm going to end up wearing i think i'm gonna go with this beauty here and i'm gonna pair it with my harness right now in the summertime i love to layer and i think a harness is the way to go i got this harness at doll's kill i got this color and i also got a green one which i love they cinch in a waist i think that they add the perfect layer and it creates more of an hourglass shape if a dress is too big or you just want to make more of a statement and i think that these harnesses are the way to go i love a good harness and then in my feet, I'm going to wear my Doc Martin platform sandals. They go up the ankle like this. They're chocolate brown. I got these uh, not too long ago. I wanted a pair of brown sandals, and I thought that these were the perfect boho everyday sandal. And I literally have been wearing them ever since. The first day, I'm not going to lie, I think every Doc Martin, whether you buy boots or you buy sandals, any type of Doc Martin, it takes a little bit of time before your foot gets adapted to it the leather starts breaking in the first two days they were hurting a little bit at my feet but now they are the comfiest sandals i wear them with everything they're so versatile who would have thought that brown sandals are so versatile but because of the black combo too they go with everything so i'm gonna wear these sandals and then to top it off i'm probably gonna wear a black hat to bring in a little bit of the black that's on the dress so let's get dressed so now i'm ready to go thrift shopping here is the whole look i went with my harness from dolls kill it has a little pocket here so that i am hands-free so that i don't need to bring a purse and i don't need to hold anything so practical i chose this dress from salty crush and then i went with my doc martens super comfortable i can walk in them all day of course i had to finish it off with a hat I got all of my jewelry here, all the bracelets. Look how beautiful this charm is. It's like the seashell. So beautiful. One of my best friends gave it to me, so it's sort of my lucky charm. So I'm taking her with me. Then there's my rings here. Then I have these really pretty moon earrings. And there you go. There's my whole outfit. Let me back the whole camera up so that you guys can get the whole full picture. So let me do that. So I think I got it. So this is my outfit. What do you guys think? <laughs>
I'm going to be super comfortable with my Doc Martens. I have my cute little corset to add a little bit of some layering. Super comfortable dress. And I have to make a statement still with my little hat. So that is it. That is the whole video. Now I'm off to go thrift shopping. I will be showing you guys the whole thrift shopping adventure in my next video. So stay tuned for that. Comment down below. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Maybe I can do my hairstyles next. It sort of gives me a chance to be able to put more videos out if I incorporate both. And you already know, I love everything that has to do with art. And art means not only DIYs, home decor. It also means fashion and beauty and all that fun girly stuff. That's what I love. So if I can mix it all in together, you already know I love to do that. And it does help me to be able to put out more videos. So any suggestions that you have that you want to see or you want to know about me or anything, comment down below and I will take a look and see what it is that maybe I can do next. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye guys! <laughs>